it's quite difficult to understand the UK market. So I thought, first of all, I'd define the terms. Private label or own label, where I use it here, refers to the labels where the retailers actually put their name on the label. These are benchmark products, and they're either ranked with price or quality. Exclusive labels are only in one retailer, and they originated to avoid the price matching on brands against competitors. And the third, but by no means the least, are the tertiary brands that the retailers own themselves. These are normally in very tradable areas, such as Italian Pinot Grigio, where the retailer really wants to dominate that market. What makes it difficult to quantify own label, private labels in the UK, is that the brands that the retailers own, or the exclusive labels, aren't coded or linked to the retailer. So here you can, say, you can see that actually pure own label only accounts for 19% of the top six retailers, which seems quite a low percentage with everyone talking about bulk and private label strategy in the UK. But there are lots of advantages of private labels that the retailers like to use to their advantages. They're unique. They have no competition in store from named brands. They deal directly with their suppliers and their producers and gain an understanding of how the market's moving. They understand the cost of products. And once a retail buyer knows the bulk pricing of products, your branded product comes under review. They have a unique image that tastes the difference, the finest, promote customer recognition and loyalties within each store. The retailer controls pricing, marketing, sales and distribution of their own brand. And they're harder to price match. And finally, they influence the final product on taste, look, packaging. So there are lots of reasons why you would have own label. The retailers want them to be distinctive, desirable and have consistent quality. Their aim is to build the profile of that retailer with their end consumer to build loyalty and to gain advantage from their competitors. There's lots of positive press about own label and private labels. I don't read the sun, this was the first one that came up in Google. <laughs> but they generate press. They build up the profile of the retailer, both internally, which is very important, when you're fighting for resource within a multiple retailer, you want the team with the skills to build that category. And if you don't win awards, the internal recognition goes unrecognized. They build trust in your end consumer. People are more willing to buy a taste a difference brand over finest or exquisite. You want to lure the consumers away from your competitors and get them into your stores to buy your wines. And finally, they might attract the right, the right suppliers who want to work with you and actually build a strategy with you to have a successful category. Mm -hmm.